10 on your side is your local election headquarters. We're making sure that you have the information you need to make an informed decision at the polls. And that includes knowing who's bankrolling the candidates. 10 on your side's Brett Hall is following the funds for us tonight. In the last few weeks, we've explored some of the top donors to the campaigns inside and out. But now we want to take a special focus on which candidates, at least financially, are benefiting the most here in Hampton Roads. If it seems like you've seen more political ads this year than ever before. You go to watch your cat video on YouTube and it's going to be sandwiched between two or three political ads. Dr. Ben Molesky, an ODU political scientist, says simply look to the latest campaign finance reports to find out why. There's lots of money out there and money on both sides. According to the Virginia Public Access Project, 21 candidates for state office have each spent more than $1 million this year to secure a job that pays less than $20,000 a year. We're at levels we've never seen before in Virginia. And in Hampton Roads, no candidate has raised more than Delegate Cheryl Turpin. The Democrat has raised just more than $2 million, all in an effort to flip Senate District 7 in Virginia Beach from red to blue. She spent just over half that amount in the past month. The top-earning Republican in our area, Senate Majority Leader Tommy Norman, he's raised $1.8 million, spending nearly $800,000 in October. There really aren't a whole lot of limits on how much you can, how much you can accept, how much you can spend, what you can do with it. So uh, as, as we get closer to the election, a lot of these campaigns that it's make or break, I, I have to win this, they're going to spend down every dollar they have in their war chest. The amounts are smaller, but there is money flowing to the special elections for Virginia Beach City Council, too. There, current Beach District Councilman Guy Tower is the breadwinner with more than $226,000 raised. He spent over $176,000. And expect totals to continue to rise through Election Day as new expenses come up. A lot of it's going to be put into making sure, you know, there's vans and buses and things available to get people from retirement communities and low-income communities out to the polls. We called several candidates to see how they would be spending their last few days ahead of Election Day. And as expected, events are booked through the weekend. And we will be saying this a lot in the next few days, but it's important. Polls are open 6 in the morning till 7 at night, Tuesday. The latest information to help you be informed at your local election headquarters right now on wavy.com. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.